Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. And today, um, just like buses, we wait months and months of PSA Grader returns, and two come back at the same time. So we literally, um, if you saw on our channel, you just saw that we had our um, February PSA Grader returns, and now here come the here comes March's submissions. So <laughs> once again, big thanks to um, Ludkins Collectibles for sorting all these beautiful cards out there's some really nice things here remember by the time this video goes live most of these beautiful cards will be available for purchase on our ebay store and also if you're a member of our discord link in the description you always get first chance to purchase them before they even hit ebay so yeah so we're going to go through these some actually beautiful ones here getting um base set hollows in um psa 9 condition is very difficult so I'm um, very happy to see this um, Ninetales come back there. Um, beautiful OG base set Ninetales. Lovely Venusaur. PSA 4. So it doesn't really matter. For the, for the base set trio, as you can see, they like the conditions and stuff. For the base set trio, it really does not matter um, like what the grades they get because it's always worth getting them graded regardless. People want to collect ones, 1 to through to 10 of their favourite um, starter trio, like Evolutions. So... It's always worth getting them graded. Nice, I'm so happy there's Flareon, so to go with our Ninetales. Um, a nice PSA 9 Flareon from Jungle. Very nice condition. Uh, this is even like had an outside chance at a 10, but I think the centering slightly off. Um, beautiful card, very happy with that. Um, the iconic pre-release Aerodactyl, so you can see there it's got the pre-release stamp. Um, one of the first pre-release events. So back then it wasn't like a sealed pre-release tournament, I think it was just people go into stores just before like they opened. If anyone knows the exact stories of how these pre-release Aerodactyls were distributed, please uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to love to learn something today. Um, yeah, beautiful Aerodactyl pre-release. So I got some EX series here. Very happy to get the um, the 9 on this Rayquaza. Beautiful condition. Had an outside chance at a 10, but 9's lovely. Um, EX Dragon Rayquaza there. Rayquaza is a um, probably a top 10 popular Pokemon, so Always good to see those. Nice Mr. Mime there. Um, I thought these were gonna. I thought these two were gonna grade nicer than they actually did, but um, it's just funny just to see like the magic odds and the magic evens mimes together. Absolutely brilliant. So we've got a couple of Hidden Fates cards. A nice Decidueye PSA 10. Very happy with that. Decidueye like Rowlet. They're, they're more one of the more popular ones from. Sword and Shield, um, from the Sword and Shield base set, I think, in terms of, like, Sword and Shield, Sword, and from the, from the Sun and Moon series, I think they're like one of the more popular starters. Hence why, like, Primarina and Incineroar didn't get shiny Pokemon, but Sigil I did, because it was also one of the better cards for tournaments as well. So we got the nice PSA 10 of the uh, Moltres Triple Birds there, from the Hidden Fates, very lovely. Sad about this Charmander, but um, I'll keep an eye out more. I think it's a centering issue, because you can see it's quite um, badly centered. I'm going to be more mindful of centering on modern cards, I think. But nice 8 there. I'm sure someone will still snap that up for like £40, £50. Beautiful PSA 10 EV. Like, ungraded. These are like £25, $30. £25, £30 at the moment. They've shot up. As a PSA 10, probably you're looking at north of £100 at the moment. Absolutely beautiful. Iconic, shiny EV there from Hidden Fates. Very happy of this one. So th these are tough grades, these um, English Champions Festivals. I think I've had a few 8s back before, but so very happy to get a 9 on the um, on the English Champions Festival there with the iconic um, artwork from Washington, D.C. Put you there with the modern stuff. Beautiful staff promo, World Championship. Eight. So unfortunately, it's like, I don't like the subgrades sometimes I give. So this grader, unfortunately, is one of these graders that likes to give subgrades. So I got a subgrader. Subgrade grader at PSA this this uh, month, unfortunately, but um, I'd rather have an eight point five than an eight, I guess. So, um, to be honest, at this kind of card, it's all about the the fact it's like the what the card is as opposed to the grade. Whereas like something on like this, probably like you know PSA ten might matter more, but um, it's just the iconic like staff promo only given out to staff. You can see side up the side up boat in there, all the Pokemon chilling out on the boat. Absolutely beautiful. Easily like three hundred and fifty pounds, four hundred dollars. Um, so we got Lily's full force, a beautiful full art. So I love, I love the Cosmic Eclipse is such a stack set for, for full art, some popular supporters, and I thought this was one of the nicest Lilies we've had for a while. So I thought I'd get this um, full force card grade. It's very pretty, very pretty. 
nice um, Gengar Mimikyu. I was hoping this one was going to get a PSA 10, but I think the centering might have let it down slightly. I'm not sure. I can't see anything like, overly wrong with it, so it might be just like it's slightly slightly off centered, but beautiful rainbow rare Gengar Mimikyu. So big shout out to the lovely Henry Brand here. Do I have the other one? Not in, I don't think I'm on hand, so I'll show it, show it later. Um, so big shout out to Henry Brand who won the um, Pokemon World Championships last year, Washington DC, with his Mewtwo deck. So you can see there, this is the World Championship promo. You can see it's got his signature on it. Um, I thought it'd just be cool to get these graded because um, they're like perfect for like Master Set collectors. And I got a PSA 10, so very happy for those. Like everyone, anyone that like collects Mewtwo's really should have the um, the Mewtwo winning card for in in their collection. I would say, absolutely gorgeous. Another, so we got we had one of these from the last um, returns. Another beautiful Phil Art Erica's from Cosmic Eclipse there with the Varplum, and another one of these iconic, beautiful giant Phil Art fishes. So, still loving getting these graded. Nice PSA 10. So big shout out to the lovely Camillo. He loves getting his cards graded. Um, as you can see, he got um, the grade's not overly important on this one because he just wants to collect lots of PSA rats. But like we from the Poke Post video, um, if you link in, if you check out one of the recent videos, you can see our Poke Post. He also sent us this um, promo rat to get graded. So now he's got a nice um, he's got a nice PSA rat to go in his um, to go in his collection. Uh, put that over here. I'll sort that out later. From Southern Islands, beautiful artwork, and also Slowpoke fans, you've got a bonus um, Slowpoke in the the background there. So if you're a Slowpoke collector, try and pick up the Southern Islands Raticate. Very happy with this. So PSA seven. I wasn't expect. I was kind of. I was half expecting maybe an eight, but I think the centering's kind of let it down. There might be a lot of scratches you can't really see on the hollow and stuff. But um, yeah, there's quite a few scratches and stuff, but very happy with the Charizard. Very expensive card as like a PSA 9 or 10. I imagine even as a 7, this would probably still be over £200, $300, close to $300 maybe. So very happy to get this Charizard back finally. Iconic Charizard there. Speaking of iconic Charizards, the base set one. Um, artwork from Evolutions with a reverse holo. PSA 8. It's quite hard to get 10s um, of these because of the scratching sometimes on the, on the holo foil, but... Um, Nice PSA 8 there, very happy with that. Uh, modern, sort of modern stuff there. Some Japanese cards now. The lovely Yokohama Pikachu, little Sailor one. Absolutely gorgeous, I love that Sailor Pikachu. PSA 9, very nice, very nice. P Champions Festivals. Um, both the 28 back to back Champions Festivals, 2018 and 2019. So you can see that they both got the iconic stamps. Both Gen Mint 10, and they're actually successive numbers, 1882 one, one and 1883, so maybe a collector would love to pick up both of these, who knows. Remember to check out the link in the description for the eBay store. This is definitely the highlight, by far the highlight of the of the PSA graded returns there, guys. Look at this, it's a PSA, <laughs> it's a PSA 10 of the, um, the base, the original Blast, this is the first ever Blastoise, guys. This is the first ever Blastoise, 1996, from the Japanese base set, PSA 10, absolutely gorgeous, flawless card. I was so shocked to find out that a PSA 10 copy of this specific Blastoise, so the 1996 base set one, not the English one, just the Japanese one, is going for around £500, close to over $600, so... So thrilled with this. Very happy. This um, I was not expecting a ten from this. I can't even remember how much I paid for this Blastoise, but it wouldn't have been any anywhere more than thirty, forty pounds at the time. I imagine. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. That's probably going to be the thumbnail for the video. Nice um, Japanese Ho Oh EX there from. Um, I don't know what the English set is, but in Japan it's called Golden Sky Silvery Ocean. Very nice. Love it. Everyone loves a bit of Ho Oh. This is beautiful. Um, so this and these two are both um, CD promo. No, no, that's the that's the deck one. So this is a CD promo. So this came. This was bun a whole bunch of cards were bundled. This with like the that Charizard, the iconic CD promo Charizard. And look at this Snorlax, iconic sort of original artwork there from Kazuki. Gem Mint Ten. Not sure on the price on this, but I imagine it must be a close to a hundred dollars easily. Uh, and here's the. Squirtle deck Blastoise Hollow. So you can see there's a little Squirtle icon there. So nice Blastoise Hollow. And look at that boat. I didn't even notice this at the time, guys. Bonus swell. There's a swell on the hollow. 
Very nice, very nice. I'm not sure on the price of that, but I'm sure it's good. Good price. Um, wow, so this one's going in my collection. It's the iconic Shining Mew from the Coro Coro collection. So, again, the 8.5. I'd rather just, like, instead of having to deal with, like, the stress of trying to, like, find a buyer for this, um, I think because it's an 8.5, I'm just going to keep this in my collection because I've been wanting to pick up one of these Mews. Like, this is the iconic Mew. You can see, like, Mew there sleeping, like, spinning around. It's got this very kind of cool, all-over sort of hollow pattern on it that you don't see very often on any cards, not English, Japanese... Uh, it's very limited distribution. Well, there was a lot given them out at the time, but now these are ungraded. These cards go for under a hundred dollars, over a hundred dollars. This is probably like two to three hundred dollars as a PSA eight point five. But I'm just going to keep this in my collection. Absolutely beautiful. Very happy of that Mew. Very very happy. Speaking of Mew, a nice ancient Mew. So it's very hard to. So you can see here, this was docked down probably very heavily for centering. I could have even potentially have gotten the OC, the off centered grade for this one. Um, unfortunately not, but it's still a ancient Mew. These always sell super quickly, so I'm getting a whole bunch of more of these graded. These have also spiked up ungraded. Probably you're looking at £15 for an ungrade for like a sealed ancient Mew promo now. $20, maybe close to $20. Depends where you look for actually. You can probably get better deals if you purchase multiples of these. Aha! So here comes the fire, guys. Here comes the fire. I'm going to put these in order. Look at this. Free base set OG Charizards. As you can see, this is the um, for the, P the PSA 1, so we hit the PSA 1 again, which is great. So, it didn't get sent back, but it got exactly what it needed it to do. So you can see there, someone's taking some like, acetone, or just like, just from general wear and tear. They've, some, they've scrubbed out the fire on Charizard. You can actually see, like, maybe even see my reflection, probably, in the background, or like, me holding the cards there, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I kid you not, so even as a PSA 1, this Charizard is still worth over $100, just because people want um, sequen sequential Charizards in their numbers. Um, OG stuff. I think we need, we need a separate pile for Charizards. And we got the um, the 4 and the 5. So again, over $100 each. These, again, have all just shot up recently. OG Char People just want OG Charizards. They want to collect 1 to 10. They just, even just want just, just one copy on its own. Um, so, so we shouted out Henry Brand earlier. This is um, the lovely... Kaya Lichliner from Germany. This is her iconic Firebox um, Charizard Retoram deck promo. So I just thought, let's just get all of the exclusive, um, you know, World Championship decks graded. This is a very unique Charizard. Very few people are going to even consider getting this one graded. PSA 10, very happy with that. Like, I think this is the first time that Charizard's featured on a World Championship winning card as well, um, deck. So very happy with that. Nice PSA 10 Charizard. Yeah, modern stuff goes there. Um, so we got here more 0.5 grades. So this guy really likes his 0.5 grades. This is very unique. This probably is not a pop one, but I imagine there's probably less than 20, like 1.5, the Blastoises. So, like FR fair. That must be fair. Yeah, 1.5. There. I was very surprised to see that. Um, and like 7.5, not as surprised, but like 1.5. It's like yeah, very surprised by that. Um, I'm going to probably, I'm tempted to keep this in my collection as well, just because it's so unique. I have no idea anyone would probably want to pay sort of a premium on it. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but the, yes, I might get this one regraded because 7.5 is quite a tricky one to sell. I think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's going to upgrade to an 8 though. I don't think it'll upgrade to an 8. I think it's more likely to become a 7. It's quite badly centered. There's quite a little bit of edge wear. There's not that much scratching. There's a little bit of scratching on the hollow, but um, even as a 7.5, I would say this Blastoise is still close to $100, so I'm very happy with that still. Another um, iconic Charizard artwork, but this is the Evolutions Hollow. As a 9, you're probably still looking to close to £100, $120. Base set Hitmonchan, PSC 8. Um, I was hoping for a 9 on this one, but should still... Should still sell quite well. Easy 30, 40 pounds there. Put you over there. Lovely Raikou. So unfortunately it's got a five. I need to have a good look at this, guys, um, in a better light. Because unfortunately it's very hard to kind of see where the, there might be like micro indents or creases on this card. Um, because of like it being in the um see, but it's got a nice 
got a nice hollow swell right above Raikou's head. You don't see hollow swells as often on the um, English cards. You see a lot of them on Japanese, but on the English ones, you don't see the hollow swells as much. So, hmm, I might just wait to sell this one at a boot fair, like not boot fair, like a Comic Con or a real life event because people just love the love the um, the hollow swell and stuff. Raikou's always very popular. And last but not least, it has to be another PSA 10 Gem Mint Evolutions Charizard. So. If you can get these from the first or second print run, normally they're an amazing quality. Newer Evolutions print runs, not as much so, but um, yeah, very happy with the PSA 10 Charizard EX Full Art. This is around £140, $170 as a PSA 10. So yeah, as you can see there, we had so many amazing busted, busted returns. Like It was just like wall-to-wall, -wall, just amazing things, wonderful things, but... Yeah, it's hard to really pick a personal favourite, but I think like just the iconic Mew has to be right up there. Absolutely love it. That's going to go in my collection. So remember guys, please head to our eBay store. Um, link in the description, eBay Playscape Games. If you want to purchase any of these cards, most of them should be listed by the time this video goes live. And also please hit that subscribe button, ding the bell, so you support the channel, follow us, and leave a comment below. What are your favourite cards from this video? What, what cards do you want to get PSA graded? Thank you very much and I'll see you soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all. Thank you very much for watching the video. Remember, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away this beautiful Blastoise and Piplups GX Rainbow Rare card from Cosmic Eclipse. PSA 9 graded, very hard to find. We're getting very close now, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, support the channel, and one of you lovely people could be winning this amazing card. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon, Pokemon fans. Got to catch them all.